A little over a year ago, a shocking attack by a gate crasher at a Sydney party left Liam Knight with long-term brain damage. The teenager is still recovering himself, but incredibly, he's now helping others in the same situation. Jessica Turner has the story. Liam Knight is always smiling, but there's a lot he misses about his old life, especially driving his car. It's good to be back in a driving seat and experience what I used to be like. The 18-year-old suffered brain damage from a shocking assault when a party gate crasher threw a metal pole at him. Still going through his own rehabilitation, he's helping others get moving with a new facility. The bikes are available, they just jump in and just come in. Now it's free, it doesn't cost anything. And the idea is it's so big that uh, we can have quite a few uh, people running at a time. More than 500,000 Australians are living with brain injuries. Most are males under 25, injured in sporting and driving accidents, and increasingly by assaults. The one punch things, uh, the king hit, uh, unfortunately those are, those are becoming more prevalent I guess and the consequences as, as we know. But many still live a full life. Brain injuries often misunderstood in the community. Sufferers have difficulty controlling their thoughts and actions but often retain their intellectual ability. Being active helps speed up physical recovery and heal emotional scars. That's why Liam's smiling. My family and friends are really proud of the way I'm going. They all my friends often rip into me, they still give it to me. Jessica Turner, 10 Eyewitness News. Good on you, Liam. Stay with us. Just ahead, we've...